Republicans like to present themselves as the party of small government. They say Democrats are the party of big government and small government is better and small government is Republican. Uh, and that idea, I'm sure, focus groups very well. But it is not true. Um, look at this. this. This charts the economy under the last three terms of Republican presidents. It's the first three years of the last three terms that we had under Republican presidents. They're all named Bush, right? But it's two different Bush presidencies. <laughs> two, two terms of George W. Bush and one term of Poppy Bush. Now, as you can see, both Bush presidencies had modest uh, but some job growth in the private sector. It's private sector, that bluish line. But when you look at government jobs, uh, the growth in government jobs was a little, in some cases, more pronounced than it was in the private sector. Now, check this out. These, these are the last three terms um, of Democratic presidents. So this is on the Democratic side. There's both Clinton terms and President Obama's first term. We're looking at the first three years of the last three Democratic terms. And you see uh, pretty big private sector job gains under Clinton. Uh, modest gains there under, under President Obama. But even though Republicans like to say they are the party of big government, Democrats do not appear to be the party of big government. Look at government jobs under the last three Democratic presidential terms. With President Obama, the current president, you see government jobs, jobs dropping like a stone falling through water, right? That's called austerity. And austerity is the thing that's keeping economic recovery slow and fragile. Private sector growth, non-government job growth under President Obama has actually been pretty remarkable. The New York Times noting today that the private sector grew faster in the first three years of the Obama administration than it did in both of George W. Bush's terms, as well as in the first three years of the George H. W. Bush administration. Only Bill Clinton had faster private sector job growth. Businesses have added more than four million jobs under President Obama's economy. The private sector is growing and growing and growing. The reason the recovery is still slow overall is frankly because of ever shrinking numbers of government jobs. The most serious weight on the job market, according to the man who was John McCain's campaign economic advisor in 2008, uh, is not jobs in the private sector. Those are coming back gangbusters. It's government jobs, specifically state and local government jobs. That's the drag on hiring. Public sector jobs, and public sector jobs are in fact jobs. Jobs which Democrats would like to fund more of, but which Republicans say must be slashed. On Tuesday of this week, the Republican Party's presumptive presidential nominee took a break from criticizing President Obama for noting the anniversary of, Pres uh, for noting the anniversary of Osama bin Laden's death. He took a break from that criticism uh, so he himself could take some time to note the anniversary of Osama bin Laden's death. Uh, Mitt Romney on Tuesday joined Rudy Giuliani to campaign at a New York City fire station on the anniversary of killing bin Laden. And at that photo op event, Mr. Romney got to talking with some firefighters and they explained to him what it means in economic terms to work as a New York City firefighter these days. After he left New York, Mr. Romney felt compelled to share the story of these struggling, hardworking firefighters. He felt compelled to share their story with the high dollar donors attending a $2,500 a plate Romney fundraiser at the Pentagon City, Virginia Ritz Carlton. Mr. Romney told that high dollar audience full of people who had paid $2,500 to hang out with him that night. He told them, quote, I spoke with a fireman yesterday and he has a one bedroom apartment and his wife is pregnant and he can't afford a second bedroom. I asked the firefighters I was meeting with, about 15 of them, how many had to take another job to make ends meet. And almost every one of them had. Shocking. Shocking, right? And relayed to these campaign donors in such a way that you might think that the moral of the story is that Mitt Romney wants these firefighters to be paid more. Mitt Romney does not want these firefighters to be paid more. Then there was the stimulus itself. $787 billion of borrowing. It primarily pr protected people in the governmental sector, which is probably the sector that should have been shrinking. We will stop the unfairness of government workers getting better pay and benefits than the very taxpayers they serve. Yeah, lousy government workers getting paid too much. Like those New York City firefighters and their unfairly large salaries that have them taking second jobs about which you're telling heartrending tales to your donors. Mitt Romney's core economic position is to rail against the government. Government jobs, government pay, government growth. Mr. Romney wrote an op-ed today in the form of an open letter to President Obama. He said, quote, undoing the damage you've done will be a daunting challenge, but I've learned a thing or two about how government policies can kill private investment and stifle job creation, and I have a plan to get government out of the way. He says he would return the country to the principles of limited government. He says, quote, and bluntly, 
our government is too big. Lousy government full of all those lousy, overpaid government jobs, all these horrible people working for the government. They're the problem in America. That is the core economic message of a campaign that sees economics as its core message. Firefighters, great for a photo op. But after all, they are what's wrong with the country.